seems very nice to me. Like until now, the car is driving very smoothly. The braking seems also very smooth, very sensitive. I feel like version 12.3.4 feels very sensitive. If I'm looking anywhere other than uh, looking straight, the car, is, the car just giving us like, you know, alert to look in the front. The braking seems very nice, very smooth is not changing the lane that much is just driving on that all the way right hand side uh probably if i was driving i would probably follow the middle lane or all the way on the left side but for some reason our when we stop somewhere for traffic light a stop sign or anywhere the car accelerate with with like very nice speed it doesn't feel like it's just hesitating or something like that the car excellently like proceed and like accelerate very very nice on that hello everyone we are back with another full self driving video and we are using version 12.3.4 as you guys can see right over there and we are trying fsd in new york suburb long island and let's see how the car performs here we are heading to sephora and it will be a 21 minutes drive let's see how the car handles this full drive Seems very nice to me, like until now the car is driving very smoothly. The braking seems also very smooth. Also, we are passing a Tesla store right now. There are a lot of vehicle on the parking lot, as you guys can see. Uh, seems like people are not buying Tesla that much. And it's very sensitive, I feel like. Version 12.3.4 feels very sensitive. If I'm looking anywhere other than uh, looking straight, the car, is, the car just giving us, like, you know, alert to look in the front. It's driving very smoothly, very, very nice. We are stopping for this upcoming traffic light. And yeah, the braking seems very nice, very smooth. One interesting part I'm noticing that the car is not changing the lane that much, it's just driving on that all the way right hand side uh probably if i was driving i would probably follow the middle lane or all the way on the left side but for some reason our car is driving all the way on the right hand side which is a little bit of slow lane as we compare in the united states the right hand side lane is a little bit slow compared to any other lane Yeah, I still felt like the car should move to this middle lane, but still the car is not trying it. I have to check my autopilot setting that if I have minimal lane change, no, it's not turned on. So the car should move to the middle lane or all the way to the left lane, but still the car is not doing it. Wow, that was fast. Okay, move to that left side a little to adjust the space while going straight. Very nice. That was very nice. But because that car was going into that driveway on the right hand side. So our car needed a little space to that left side. And our car turned on its indicator and moved to that left lane a little bit to go straight smoothly. Very nice. We have to stop for this upcoming traffic light and we'll see.
the car slows down for some reason, but the light is still green. Yeah, very slowly creeping now, and yeah. Now it is stop for this stop sign, not a stop sign, traffic light, very nice. There is a little hesitation there, it slows down a little earlier, and then it, it just saw that the light is green and the next light is red, so it just proceeds very slowly. So I noticed something when we stop somewhere for traffic light, a stop sign or anywhere, the car accelerate with with like very nice speed. It doesn't feel like it's just hesitating or something like that. The car excellently like proceed and like accelerate very, very nice on that. So version 12.3.4 definitely feels more refined than version 12.3.3 which I had major is issues. Uh, it runs two time red light. There was like red light, like clear red light. It can definitely stop. If I was driving, I could just easily stop, not even having doing like any heartbreak, but our car version 12.3 just avoid that red light and passed. But uh, I have to definitely taste this kind of scenarios where version 12.3.4 had to deal with this kind of situation where the light just changed and we'll see if the car just run a red light. This traffic's light are very annoying. Okay, very nice. Wow. It breaks and then it started creeping, which is nice. The brake doesn't feel like it is breaking so hard. It's, it breaks very smoothly. We're just six minutes away from our destination and the ride has been very smooth, very confident. Very nice, very, very nice. I'm so impressed with this latest version, 12.3.4. And trust me, it seems very human kind of driving. It seems like a human is driving and I'm just sitting on the passenger seat. Very nice. So we're just 0.5 miles away from our destination. Our car needs to change the lane now. Didn't turn on. Okay, it turned on the indicator, but I didn't see the camera. So uh, sometimes I definitely got confused on that. Like the car turns on its indicator, but there is no camera popped up. So probably, you know, it's a software bug. Probably it will be get fixed in the future. You see, it turns on the indicator now and the camera pops up. But the last time it did it, but the camera didn't pop up. So we need to slow down to make this right turn a little late decision. And but the car did it perfectly. No problem with that. But uh, it was, you know, like a little late decision to make that right turn and slows down immediately after it realized that I have to decrease my speed. The area looks very nice, the environment and the weather seems so nice today. Like very, very beautiful weather. The trees are getting their leaves and everything. The weather is very nice. The car is driving very nicely, very smoothly. So happy with this update. So, so, so happy. Didn't do any unwanted mistake, which is nice. But I will definitely put this on so much test so that the car learn so many things so let's see we're very near to our destination as you guys can see we're gonna make a left turn on this stop sign wow it's beautiful Made that left turn perfectly, smoothly, very, very nice. And on that upcoming stop sign, we'll make a right turn. Wow, it's 
the weather is beautiful. I'm gonna make a right turn here. Nicely done, very, very nice. And we're gonna make an immediate left here. And as you guys can see, there are two kids walking. The car cautiously avoid them, very nicely done. Slowly just moved over to that left and avoid those person. Very nice move. We'll make a left here. We're gonna go straight. We have to stop on this stop sign. Nicely done. Let's see if the car can park on the parking lot. It will be a great test to see. Probably it will not try it because we didn't, you know, like told the car to get us into the parking lot. But we'll see how the car handles this. Nice job. It will probably stop in front of Sephora, but we'll see. Because of it's a parking lot, the car is going very slow, which is nice. A person shouldn't drive fast on a parking lot. There is a music store here. Looks very nice. Like Guitar Center. Now we'll go straight on this stop sign. Nicely done. And let's see what the car does here. So we are in front of Sephora and we'll see if the car try to park. It just stopped and we'll see. Yeah, now it's slowly creeping and it stopped there in front of exactly on our left, it's left is Sephora. The car is just stopping here. So I'm just gonna take over guys. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to watch full self-driving videos. We're going to talk about FSD, we're going to talk about Elon Musk, we're going to talk about so many stuff. So don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day and enjoy the weather. Thank you. But I just want to show you guys how the car, you know, auto parks. So let's just see if you see there is a park sign and there is a start button. I just press the start and the car is parking, right? As you guys can see, it's very accurate. You guys can see the white line here and it's just exactly middle of that lane. Wow. And uh, you guys can also see that. So smooth, guys. Lovely. Thank you so much for watching again and have a wonderful day.